collected. Baby, let's just see now. Okay, let's see what the message is. Right out the gate, we got winter and twin flame. Divine Holy Spirit. Ancestors of the highest white light. Allow me to change the energy for my collective. Please and thank you, Spirit. What messages do you have? Okay, so you have barrier coming up in the reverse. I like that. And lessons. Yes, baby. With a third party. So someone has learned their damn lessons with a third party. The third party could have been anything. Could have been a person, place, or a thing. But the barrier, the reason it's coming up in the reverse, there is no more barriers because someone has learned their lessons. Someone's learned their lesson here. Okay? With the third, the, hell, for some of y'all, the third party was this person's ego. And for some of y'all, you hear me? I'm going to put it right there just for the hell of it. Because that's for somebody out there. That was this person's um, third party. But someone's about to have a fresh start. Because like I said, the, the barrier is no longer there. But let's get off into it. Spirit. What messages do you have? For the collective. Mm. What's the barrier? Light of swords. Mm. Someone... Oh, stop it. Okay. This person... Oh, this could be you. You know, take it what resonates. They saw something in you that triggered them. Okay. I don't know if it reminded them of a third party. Um, hell, they could have been put in a third party in the past. Something about your energy triggered the fuck out this person. And they put that wall up. Boom. Uh-uh. I ain't dealing with it. It's like they... What they saw, here's the thing. They saw what they thought they saw, but they judged it too quick. Okay? It's like they didn't. You can have two Sagittarius, right? But it's not just that. We have many different signs in our chart. So it's like someone basically judge something on a, a superficial level and it could have been that that superficial like oh what's your sign Sagittarius. oh hell no I ain't fucking no Sagittarius last Sagittarius hurt me last Sagittarius put me in the third party that's just one little piece of it okay it's many different elements off into your chart your person did something too quick or this is you you did something too quick baby and you put up this big ass barrier walk around this pride and ego huh now, it's um, whatever it is, it's superficial. It's like so, like, bro, you need, you know what I'm saying? It was stupid, and somebody see it now, because I saw that page of Pentacles. Somebody has learned something new. So for some of you, it's just a simple fact. They ask you what your sign was. You told them, they said, oh, hell no. Nah. For others of you, they saw something that you said or did, and it, it triggered them. It just peered. Maybe when you met this person, he had no job. They like, oh hell no. That means I'm got, I got to take care of your ass. They left you alone. Maybe when you met this person, you was a single parent. They like, oh hell no, I got to leave you alone. There's something that this person judged quickly and put up a barrier. Look at that big ass ace of cups. Dang, you know what I just heard? Oh my god. For some of you, this started happening. They said, uh-uh, I'm not falling and, and put up a barrier. I refuse. Oh, my God. I refuse. Uh, five of swords, two of swords. I refuse to fall in love because possibly what a third party did to them. This is somebody who was either, I feel like they were in a third party before. Yeah, with the lovers, absolutely. freaking -lutely. And something about your energy just triggered the fuck out of it. And it could have just been, you know, they never healed that hurt from that third party. Meeting you, everything cool. Then these feelings come, and they like, oh, hell no. Two of swords, five of swords, knight of swords. Somebody just did something just too damn quick. 
but I'm really getting that they, they judge something simple, like the zodiac signs. Are you a Leo? Oh, hell no. Fuck with Leos, baby. Hell no. Something like that. Last Leo I had hurt me, so I don't fuck with Leos. But all Leos ain't the same. I, you know what I'm saying? All Sagittarius ain't the same. But whatever the fuck your sign is, they really could have had, if you a Capricorn, they, that ex could have been a Capricorn who put them in a the third party. And they like, hell no. Nah. I know all of the traits of a Capricorn. Bruh, that's just the little piece of it. That's just the sun sign. Okay, baby. What else, spirit? Tower in the reverse. That's what they were trying to do. Avoid something. Like I said, you triggered something within this person. And they quickly decided to cut this off because they wanted to avoid a tower moment. Okay, and chose another path. Like, uh, -uh I'm not falling for this person or something. Something, y'all. Nine of damn cups. This is giving me also somebody was extra guarded. Nine of cups with the ace of cups. Somebody could have been falling for you fast. They ain't like that. They ain't like that. They couldn't control their emotions. I'm telling you, with this tower in reverse, somebody was trying to avoid something. What else, spirit? It's, it's like, uh-huh, eight of swords with the death. Somebody could have been stuck in their head about what a Scorpio did to them. They just weren't healed. It just appeared. They could have still been holding resentment from that person. You could have made them just, you could have dressed, put on your clothes that day and, and look something like what that ex did. Something triggered this person, some dumb shit, and it's because they wasn't healed. All right, just appeared. So you got the Ace of Cups. I, I, why did I say Ace of Cups? I meant Queen of Cups, okay? That's you. Yep. Now you got the Ace of Pentacles. Because remember I said there is no barrier now. They tried to walk away from it. They did. Judging in their head that you was going to do this, that, and the third. Because the last person did this, that, and the third. Three of Cups. This person tried to make themselves not like you. They did. They told themselves fucked up things about you. Five of swords so they wouldn't feel for you. Two of swords. But here's the thing. Someone's in it like a six of cups energy. Even when they go back to the times that y'all had together. It's nine of cups, three of cups, ace of cups. It's fond memories. And they can't get it out their head, eight of swords. They can't drop these feelings... Feelings is not like a fucking light switch. You can't just pop them bitches on and off. Though someone tried. And I see what this person was trying to do. They were trying to avoid this right here. And it could also be a little bit of self-worth issues. You could have looked like Nine of Cups. Complete wish fulfillment. Giving a lot of unconditional love. And if this person's not healed, maybe they don't, because, you know, people treat us based on how the fuck they feel. Mostly by their damn self. Okay? It, that's how it is, y'all. The way motherfuckers treat us, it be how they feel about they self. Most of us. So because this person wasn't healed from whatever the fuck this was, hadn't learned no lessons, or did no inner work at all, they saw something, heard something that just made them cut it out. But anyway, you have the death card here with the damn ten of swords. It's like it was the way this person left your life. They hurt you, two of cups. They hurt you. They hurt themselves too. But this is someone who, I can't make it up. Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. This person didn't, they were so caught up in their self, pride and ego. 
so caught up in guarding themselves and trying to prevent things from happening because they stuck on this past situation or what this past person did to them that someone didn't even realize how bad they hurt you. It's only after going through this death right here that they see how bad they hurt you and them trying to protect themselves. Communication could have solved all of this. This is these swords in this is all in the mind. Somebody was stuck in their mind. Eight of swords. Can't move forward, can't move backward after whatever happened with this third party. Alright, so we have the Empress here with the five of pentacles. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. And you know what? Another thing I'm getting, this person is someone who hasn't received genuine love like this. So it scared them. When you was giving them this genuine love, because they had never received it, they said, I don't trust it. I don't know what that I don't know what that is. I ain't never felt that before. I've only dealt with conditional love because this person's always been in some type of third party situation. So that's Love don't based on conditions because when you really love yourself, you're not finna in a, you're not finna deal with no third party, nothing. Just period. But this is someone who somehow always gets involved in these third parties. I'm here looking for love in all the wrong places. Been around, seen a lot of pretty faces. But I know that I'm the one for you. Only lying I would do is in the bed with you. That's Jaheen, baby. You got a brother feeling. Baby, you know what I mean. So, I hope that you can soon to see. I hope that you will soon see that you and I were meant to be. So, it's just like that right there. Whatever the fuck this was, you was giving him, pure ice, him or her, I said to him, take it how it resonates. They had never experienced that before. It scared them and they just did put up this wall and walked around with this pride and ego and acted as if they didn't care. Telling themselves things to try to make force their feelings down but you can't this shit is overflowing it's overflowing <laughs> baby empress and they highly attracted to you with the queen of wands right there okay what else spirit what we at 12 minutes seven of cups look at look at this big foot of that they go back there y'all know what that is or who that is uh-huh two of pentacles kept going back and forth in their head. I told y'all it was some self-worth issues here and that this person had to heal. Now that they healed, they ass is taking action because this is exactly what they want for once. But your person, this emperor now, when they shut you off real quick like that, you was always on this person's mind, eight of swords. They wasn't showing you that. Pride and ego is what they were showing you. But I'm telling you, it's right here in the cards. They tried to shut these feelings out. They tried to tell they self fucked up shit about you. They tried to believe negative energy. But like I said, even when they go back to the times that you were together, it was Queen of Cups, Three of Cups, Nine of Cups. Good memories. So the whole time this person will cut you off, hurt you like they did, it caused you to go through some change too. All of this was divinely orchestrated. This is Twin Flame situation. It just peered. Okay? They kept going back and forth in their head to a pinnacle. Do I want to invest and commit to this person? I know how I see them. Queen of Cups, Empress. This is how I view this person with the Nine of Cups. But remember, somebody's tried try to avoid a disaster from happening. Could also be, this is too good to be true. Because like I said, somebody wasn't used to this type of love that you was given. So this is too good to be true. 1414 on the phone. So remember I said with the two of ones that went down another path. Where do you think they went to? Something that they were used to. Something low vibrational and toxic. Possibly another third party. People don't understand how, how to manifest. When, when you are, We're constantly manifesting regardless. But because this person, Eight of Swords, was constantly thinking about what would go wrong. Seven of Cups with the Ten of Swords. They attracted that energy in. Remember, the reason this person cut you off is because they were trying to avoid a tower. So they're constantly thinking about all of the things that are going to go wrong. And they caught in that devil energy who possibly put them in a third party. 
and tennis swords they ass, but it put them through a change. Them, it, it, this is most of the time. Real twin flames will just reject each other and mirror to the other what the fuck they need to fix. That's what this was. This was a rejection. Just cut off quick. Just psh. And it's constantly watching and thinking like, you know, this person's going to do this, they're going to do that. And that's what they attracted in. All of attraction. I mean, what you speak is very, very powerful. You manifest that shit in right just like that. And that's what they did. So, anything else, spirit? Six of Wands. Mm hmm Okay, now the battle has been won. Here's the battle. Whether the battle was within self, yeah, my computer just lit up. This battle was within someone's self. Yeah, because of what they kept going through. This is someone who's starting to understand that the reason they keep going or being attracted to these third party situations is because that's all they think about. It's how the last person hurt them. It's the opposite. You're supposed to think about the good things that you want. And I feel like for a lot of you, when you met this emperor, they were in another situation where they were put in a third party. And all the time they were sitting there thinking in their head how they wanted equal give and take. Yeah, it was, it was always a third party for your person, for this emperor. Now listen to me. And so while they were dealing in these they would always be asking God, why this person can't just love me for me? Why can't they give me unconditional love? All of those good things that they would be sitting up there thinking about. That's how they attracted you in the first damn place. But then when they got you and you gave them everything that they had been asking God for, somebody got scared. This too good to be true. No, this person going to hurt the fuck out of me. They going to really hurt me. They going to end up putting me in the third party just like Scorpio did. For some of y'all, this is right here or Libra, whoever the fuck it is. They're going to end up doing the same thing. And so that's all they constantly thought about. And so guess what? That's exactly what they manifested. Five of Wands, Three of Cups, Third Party with the Ten of Swords. They manifested it. But here's the, here's the beautiful part of this. Lessons with death. Instead of this person always projecting, always pointing the finger they they gonna hurt me. They gonna do this. They gonna do that. Someone learned the lesson, and they're going within themselves. They're accepting accountability for what the fuck's been going on in their life. They realize why they have been attracting this energy because that's what they kept putting out, thinking that they were avoiding something with you. Constantly thinking about how this was gonna be negative or going to end badly. They call that energy in, but justice is here. Okay, something's about to be. Some type of balance is being restored. The battle has been won. Another confirmation. My computer. Y'all can't see my laptop down there. But the lights keep coming on. We saw the five of ones. That's the battle. The six of ones is the victory. The battle has been won here. Everything going. Everything here. What did I see that at? This four ones is twin flame. Whatever the battle was, we saw was the barrier. Remember, the barrier came up in the reverse. That's because the battle has been won. Justice is coming in. Somebody has learned the lessons around this connection. And now they're manifesting something stable and solid. Magician with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay? It's just period. So this is what I have for my collective. Let me see if I can get y'all. Uh-oh. Actually, I want some of these. Baby, baby. All right, Spirit, what's the message? What's the message? Yes. The universe is filled with opportunities for my success. This came up in another reading. This person has to think like this. What I say, that positive thinking. What's that card say? Positive thinking will bring you love and romance. They had to switch They. Someone started to understand that they co-create with the universe. They're realizing that they've manifested all of this shit into their life. 
They manifested you. I just told you how they manifested you when they was in another third party dealing with another karmic situation. They were constantly thinking about how they wanted that person to just love them unconditionally, blah, 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 blah. And here you come, giving them everything they could have asked for. And they got scared. And it was something so small, y'all. Oh, you another Pisces? The person who put, last person who hurt me was a Pisces. I don't fuck with Pisces. Oh, you a single parent? I don't fuck with single parent. Oh, you, you ain't got no car right now? Oh, hell no. Something stupid. Trick the fuck out the head. But they realized they manifested this in. That was the lesson for your person. Or you, whoever this is that is watching this reading, child. Y'all know how y'all uh, resonate with it. Okay? I've been looking for love in all the wrong places. It's just period. Been around some mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go from, this person's going from, this is what they've always wanted. To go from the three to the two. They was doing it in the wrong way. Okay? Manifestation. I'm hearing the art of it. <laughs> uh, people complicate. It's, it's, they, they do. It's really simple. Because whatever you're thinking is going to manifest eventually. It's just period. So it's like put out good positive thoughts. Wherever you currently are in your life, we have manifested it. Because we co-create with the universe. Somewhere down the line, you thought up where you at right now. You visualized it somewhere. You spoke it, thought it, something. And so you are where you are. It's just period. And if you don't like where you are, manifest something differently. Okay? So that is what I have. It's your girl, Spiritual Sag. Love you guys from the bottom of my feet. Till next time. Bye.